Welcome back to the Circle R Reptile Room. I'm T-Ray, and today I'm going to be going over with you my most interactive reptiles, from the least interactive to the most interactive, and how each reptile is going to interact with you and what you should expect after you get there. So first up on our list is the blue tongue skink. And this is Phobus. He's my blue tongue skink. He's a northern blue tongue. And he is amazing. And I love to do a lot of things with him. But this is really not one of his strong suits. Just sitting here and being held. So the pros for this is he will do this for about five minutes. And then just like a cat who you're petting randomly decides he doesn't want to be held anymore and then he's gone they're also really fun to interact with on the floor which is the way i would actually suggest interacting with blue tongue skinks they love to crawl around your floor especially if you put a towel down and you fold it in half they will crawl through the towel like they're digging holes through the earth and honestly that is the best way to interact with them outside of their cage and just like all reptiles it's very fun to watch him eat he eats wet dog food and bugs and every once in a while a little rat and a few greens here and there so he's just a great reptile to have but he's not really much for being held and when we first got him he was very defensive and it took a while to get that defensiveness out of him and we did that by taking him into the bathroom and we put a towel up on the floor and we just sat in there with him and we put food in there so he could eat and he could play in the towel and eventually he got to where he trusted us but it took us about two months to get to there so if you're getting a blue tongue skink be warned that, that could happen but if you put the work into it they'll be a great pet just like phobus right here the northern blue tongue skink the next amazing reptile on our list is dutch the red foot tortoise and I gotta say, I really love having a tortoise. And it kind of surprised me because this was my wife's idea. And the main reason that he takes the next spot on our list is whenever you go to feed him, especially if you have him outside of his tank and he knows you got the food, he will come to you. And I love that about him. I love animals that want to come to me especially because he didn't do that at the beginning, but now he does. But a lot of similarities in handling actually to the blue tongue skink. Number one, he doesn't really like to be held. Number two, the best way to interact with him is on the ground. It's just, instead of having a towel on the ground to interact with him with, you just put greens on the ground and you just watch him eat or you hand feed him. That's something else that's awesome is you can hand feed him. Now I will say the cons, uh, besides sitting on the ground and letting him come to you and eat greens, that's pretty much his whole show. So if you want anything else, a red foot tortoise is really not for you for the interaction level. But there are still amazing pet reptiles and I think that anybody who has one is in for a treat. I know I sure was and I still am. Fifth on our most interactive lizards is Sabor, the leopard gecko. And this right here is the best part about them. You can put them on your shoulder and they will just chill out with you. I will do laundry, dishes, take care of other reptiles, all while having him just sitting there on my shoulder. On top of that, you can feed them. I like to feed him in his tank. I have a little bow and I like to sit up there and I like to watch him eat and I love to feed him horn worms and super worms and all sorts of other bugs that are out there and he's just so fun to watch he's fun to handle and really he'd be higher up on the list if he was just a little bit bigger and a little less fragile being able to physically touch him i think gives him the advantage over the other two reptiles because physical touch is such a powerful response 
they are amazing pets. There is a reason that they are so popular in the pet trade, and that's because they will chill out with you. They're not going to be super flighty, and they're easy to take care of, easy to feed, and fun to interact with. And that's why they're fifth on this list. Coming into fourth place is Otis the Bearded Dragon. And literally, I just finished telling y'all about how great a leopard gecko would be if it was just a little bit bigger. And that is the Bearded Dragon. He has such an amazing personality. Whenever you get him out, he'll just go and he'll sit on your shoulder and he will just relax. And I don't know if he likes handling but he tolerates it so well and he gives you that great sense of touch because you can actually physically put your hand on him gently and really feel that connection with him just like the leopard gecko except the connection's a little bit stronger i feel now being bigger does have a couple of pros number one is that he's more fun to watch than the leopard gecko he eats more food. He chases a bug ball around. That's really fun. Uh, there are a couple of cons. When he's up here and he's on your shoulder, you know he's on your shoulder. So it's really kind of hard to walk around and do dishes or laundry or anything like that with a full grown bearded dragon on your shoulder. But you can make it work. <laughs> and the only other con that I can kind of think of for the bearded dragon, I don't know if it's really a full con or not, is that about 10 or 15 minutes into handling he'll be ready to go back into his tank and that's just because he's wanting to get back underneath his heat light and warm back up so it's bad because the interactions come to an end but it's good because he's letting you know that hey i'm getting cold i want to go back into my tank i think the bearded dragons definitely earn their reputation as great beginner reptiles and I wouldn't have started any other way than with a bearded dragon because they definitely fanned my love of reptiles. Coming in in third place on our list is Urza the ball python. Now I'm going to tell you all right now, I do have a bias. I lean towards reptiles that are finer to hold and handle and physically touch than I do those that I can just merely walk it, watch in the tank. And that really encompasses what she is all about. Now, where she gets her bonus points from is that she is the perfect movie watching reptile. Or whenever I'm sitting there editing videos, I will put her around my shoulders or put her on the table next to me and she will just chill out as we just do whatever I need to get done. Just like the leopard gecko and the bearded dragon, only that she doesn't really run around whenever she gets tired of being handled. She slowly moves around and then I look at her and I go, oh, you're ready to go back in your tank. The other pro about her is feeding. I love watching my snakes eat. It is such an amazing display of how wide they can get their jaws and how they eat their prey. It is unlike any other animal that you've seen. And if you've only ever watched it on TV, you're missing out because the experience of being here and physically watching her eat her prey is amazing. Now, like I said, she does lose points. When she is sitting in her tank, she is in her hide, period. Every once in a while, she's in her water bowl. They are probably some of the most fun reptiles to handle just because they are so casual and if you want to get a first reptile there's actually none other than i would recommend than the ball python for your first reptile second up on the list is nami the guyana boa constrictor and she has one of the most beautiful tail patterns i've ever seen on a reptile and really you're probably asking yourself, well, T-Ray, the last one was a constrictor as well. How much difference can there be? And I'm going to tell you right now, this is a small snake for now. And the interaction that she does whenever she is out is so much more interesting to me than what the ball python does. 
If I want something to just sit there and do nothing, I will get the ball python. But if I want a reptile that's going to come out and interact, and you can see the this entire time she is going around my hand, she'll come up towards my face. She is just constantly exploring. And that's one of the best things about getting her out of her tank. And she is small enough right now, I can still do other stuff like edit videos with her just sitting on my wrist or my hand. But in the future, that won't be the case. She'll be much more of a, that is the activity than something I can do during a different activity. Now, the other great thing is that she's out in her tank a lot more. A lot of times whenever I go past my boa's tank, she's out, she's going to her water bow or she's going between hides or she's exploring or she's trying to find a way to escape out the top. And whenever I walk into the room, if she sees me, she will actually come up to the glass on the tank and start climbing up the glass like she wants to get out. So I think that they just have a much more interactive personality than the ball pythons do. I do think the ball pythons make better beginner pets because they are less likely to bite than boas. Although I will say this boa has never tried to bite me or do anything defensive to me at all. And that's because I work with her a lot. But I definitely put her at my number two and I think she definitely deserves that place on this list. And of course, top in the list is the tegu as the most interactive reptile that we own. Now, I gotta say, whenever we started looking into tegus, we knew from watching other people and all the research that we did, that these were very smart reptiles. And they have certainly lived up to that hype. Really, the thing that I really just enjoy about them is sitting down on the ground with them and letting them crawl all over me. As a matter of fact, that's how we tame them down is we sit down in a enclosed hallway and let them crawl all over us. You can do the same if you get some in your bathroom, just any place that you can get enclosed where you don't even have to handle them. All you got to do is sit in the same room as them. And they have such a wide variety of food between rats and chicken and fish and uh, they love papayas and so many other foods that they never get bored feeding. And as you can see, they do feed a lot, which is kind of a con, but it's not a con for this video. So I'm not gonna dock them for it. Whenever I walk into the room with these guys, they are at the door, ready for me to take them out, ready for some interaction time. It's like your dog waiting for you to get home because they've missed you all day. Maybe not quite to that extreme, but still, they love attention. Or at least they tolerate it really, really well. And she used to be a little bit of a grumpy, of a grumpy girl, but she is so good now and she's gotten so big. She's just over six pounds now. She's still got a lot of growing to do. But if you want to get a tegu, I'll tell you this much right now, they are amazing. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them as a beginner pet, but if it's what you really want, just know right up front, you got a lot of research to do. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of money to spend ahead of you. You're gonna need a lot of room in your house. But if it's what you really want, do the proper research so you can take the proper care of them and they will do great for you because this is the Circle R Reptile Room most interactive reptile. I hope this video really helped you in any future reptile decisions that you have. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the reptiles that we have here in the Circle R Reptile Room. I think that they are all amazing. I think they're all interactive in their own way. And I'm sure if you get one of your own, it's gonna have its own attitude as well. So I must say on behalf of all of my reptiles, we greatly appreciate you. And if you would subscribe to the channel, that would help us out tremendously. I just hope that you enjoy going on this reptile journey with us. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that your love of reptiles continues to grow.